Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video is the next in a series of videos for the tool axis control options in the simultaneous five axis milling toolpath. So in this video, we'll be talking about tilted to axis by fixed angle. So normally in these options, what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose something to tilt from. In other options, it's the surface normal. Here, it's actually the axis. So I have my Mach 1 position 1 in the top corner of this part, and I'm going to be tilting this relative to the z-axis. Right here we see tilted angle is 0, rotary angle is 0. So the tilted angle is just the tilt off of the z-axis. That's simply all it is. We take a look at this toolpath real quick. You can see that I'm coming in basically from the z-axis, and I'm machining this all the way down. If we just take a look at this real quick in simulation, it is simply just going down the part. Now, if I switch this to, let's say, 45, what we'll see now is the tool comes in at 45 degrees relative to the z-axis, and that's in both directions. So let's actually get a look at that in this combined view right here. I'm just going to step through the code. And as you see, it is 45 degrees from the Z axis as it goes along. And that is regardless of the surface that we're on. So that first surface is maybe about 20 to 30 degrees from the vertical. That bottom surface is about 45. You'll see that the angle of the tool does not change as we go down to the bottom. It stays at that 45 degrees to the z-axis. Okay, now, in this particular option, we don't only just have the ability to give it one angle, we can actually give it a series of angles and then it can blend between the two as it goes across the surface. So, for instance, let's say we start at zero, because maybe the tool can, can get to those surfaces and it doesn't need to tilt at that point. But then as it gets further down the part, maybe the holder is going to collide with the top of the part. So we can go two, and we'll end up at that 45 degrees. Again, the toolpath doesn't really look like it changes that much, except for the fact that if we looked at this from the top, it's coming at purely the z-axis at zero degrees. So let's just start from there. You can see that it starts at zero degrees. But as it goes along, it's gradually tilting. Until we get to the bottom, it's going to be at 45 degrees. This would be a useful option if you don't necessarily have to be tilted at the top. You just want to eventually tilt it so that when it gets to the, to the bottom, you still have access, but you're not colliding a holder or anything like that. So this is much more of a gradual tilting option. And again, that is 45 degrees to the Z, not to that surface. So let's switch that back. So 45, and this time let's add a rotary angle. Let's say a 45. So the toolpath is a little disrupted. Maybe this, this geometry is not the best representation of it, but what you can see is that the tool is now tilting in that direction as well. This is similar to another option where it's kind of doing a lean into the cut. So it's 45 degrees to the Z, and it's 45 degrees pretty much of rotation. Let's say if we set that to negative 45, you can see it goes in the other direction. So the tilting is relative to an axis, not the surface normal, which gives you a little more control over the overall part rather than just the specific surface. And it has a gradual tilting as well. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and in this series of live access videos. Thanks for watching.